Good evening. Philip Schofield has agreed to step down as presenter of the ITV show this morning after more than two decades on the programme. He said the channel had decided the current situation couldn't go on. It follows intense media speculation about his relationship with his co-presenter, Holly Willoughby. Neil Connery reports. See you on Monday. Bye. Bye. When Philip Schofield said goodbye on Thursday's episode of This Morning, there was no indication it would be his last. ITV says he's agreed to step back to protect the show he said he loves. We've well, written it all. Well, I've done very well. Mm hmm Yeah. Mm. Mm. Holly Willoughby will remain co-presenting with other members of this morning's family. Philip Schofield said, I have always been proud to cover fascinating stories on this morning, but recently this morning itself has become the story. I understand that ITV has decided the current situation can't go on. Let's talk through today's top stories with Nick Bryan. His departure comes amid reports of a rift between Schofield and Willoughby. His brother, Timothy Schofield, was sentenced to 12 years in jail on Friday after being convicted of child sex offences. They held on as long as they could. They've been as professional as they could. They've, they've looked at this and think, Look, are we going to, to bow to the Twitterati um, and the tabloid media? And, but I think they've got to the point where it wasn't getting any better. <laughs> You're on a bit... Holly Willoughby thanked Schofield, saying the sofa won't feel the same without him. ITV praised Philip Schofield, calling him one of the best broadcasters of his generation, saying he would continue working with the channel. Neil Connery, ITV News. Ukraine's President Zelensky has welcomed the decision by the United States to help supply the Ukrainian military with F-16 fighter jets. He's in Japan for a meeting of the G7 where he's met Rishi Sunak and other leaders from Hiroshima. Robert Peston reports. The guest of honour has landed in a French government jet at the G7 summit of the leaders of the world's richest nations. A special hug for Britain's Prime Minister. <laughs> who suggested a whole month ago to President Zelensky that he make his case in person here in Hiroshima for Ukraine to receive more military and financial support. Even before he arrived, one of his most important wishes for fighter aircraft to build up his small fleet was granted because President Biden lifted his ban on the transfer of F-16 fighter jets to Ukraine. We've reached a moment where it is time to look down the road and to say what is Ukraine going to need as part of a future force to be able to deter and defend against Russian aggression as we go forward. F-16s, fourth generation fighter aircraft are part of that mix. And in a meeting with France's President Macron, Zelensky was cautiously optimistic. I'm happy that there are very positive signals. Here they are, some of the most powerful people on the planet, mostly men, you notice, who've already agreed their priorities for the next year. Probably the most important part of the leader's 40-page communique is a warning to China not to abuse its economic might by engaging in what they call economic coercion, that's bullying to you and me of other countries, and not to attempt to take Taiwan by force. Rishi Sunak believes he's had an influence with an agreement to cooperate on global migration and cracking down on people smuggling, and also a plan to build up the resilience of infrastructure and supply chain so that our economy, our prosperity is less fragile. This city, Hiroshima, is a living reminder of the tragedy of global conflict. Robert Peston, ITV News in Hiroshima. Fifteen dogs have been seized and a second person has been arrested in relation to a dog attack which killed a man in Greater Manchester. Jonathan Hogg died in hospital after the attack in Lee on Thursday. Six adult dogs and nine puppies, believed to be of the same breed as the animal involved, have been seized by police. Finally, Manchester City could be just minutes away from winning their fifth Premier League title in six years. Rivals Arsenal are currently losing 1-0 to Nottingham Forest. If it stays that way, City cannot be caught at the top. Victory for Forest, meanwhile, would guarantee them safety from relegation. There are more stories on our streaming service, ITVX, and I'll be back at 20 past 10. Until then, enjoy your evening. Bye-bye. The warm weather continues. So why not squeeze the most out of the day? 
Heinz Tomato Ketchup. Sponsors ITV National Weather. Hello there. Good evening to you. This weather front is responsible for a two-way split in our weather as we head through tonight with cloudy skies through Scotland and Northern Ireland, outbreaks of rain, some heavy pulses of rain for a time, but later on that rain will start to ease. Through England and Wales, dry, largely clear skies, allowing temperatures to drop away, cold enough for a touch of grass frost come dawn and some pockets of mist and fog patches forming too. So heading into Sunday, we hold on to those cloudier skies through Scotland and Northern Ireland. Some bright spells, but further outbreaks of rain too. But through England and Wales, it does stay dry with plenty of sunshine once again, although a bit of cloud bubbling up across the southeast into the afternoon. Temperatures 21, 22 degrees Celsius. Worth mentioning in any sunshine, UV levels will be high. So if you're out and about in that sunshine, do take extra care. And high pressure dominating our weather into next week. We've got some decent weather to come. Bye-bye for now. Heinz Tomato Ketchup, sponsors ITV National Weather.